morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be. My name's Ed and welcome to Let's Go Fishing. Well guys, welcome back. I hope everyone had a good break through the holidays and you got out to do some fishing. Today I'm on the kayak, um, just fishing Lake Macquarie for whatever we can get. I've got some um, soft plastics there and later on I'll see if there's any mullet around. Uh, while I'm at it, I'd like to give out a big thank you to one of my subscribers. I got an uh, early Christmas present, well, last year now, and um, and it was uh, engraved uh, mug and um, wine glass with my logo on it. Beautiful job, beautiful work, um, and I was quite surprised and happy. Now, if you ever want something like that for weddings or parties, I'll just leave his details on the description below. So back to fishing. Oh, big mullet jumping out there. Um, we're gonna go just over the drop over here. It just drops off to about oh, six foot or so. And um, I'll throw a few soft plastics out there and see what happens. Just using so just a, a squid jiggy today and I'll put some scent on that I've got um, six pound braid and uh, ten pound leader fluorocarbon leader nice morning I mean there was fish working everywhere here today in the shallows you can still see them. there's a lot of them I don't know what they are big schools of them it's probably mullet anyway here we go first cast let it sink to the bottom I just seen a squid chew up my uh, soft plastic, so I'll put a squid jig on, see what happens. Pretty quiet at the moment. I've seen that squid chase that soft plastic up and chew it, but they weren't touching the jig, squid jig. Well, I've just got two, two squid, so it seems like it's, they're out there, they're just in a certain spot. Well, we've got another squid. They're only tiny, only tiny. Back out, there we go. We're on a 
again. <laughs> Not much bigger than the jig. <laughs> When you're fishing for squid in the kayak, when you get a few at a certain spot, drift back over the top of that spot again and, um, and you'll find that you'll get them again. They're usually in pods and, um, and they'll just stay around sort of one area. That's what I found anyway. They're pretty scarce, you've got to hunt for them. But that was pretty good. I've got two markers here. Someone's put some crab traps out here. And between those two crab traps, oh, hang on, one's grabbed it on the surface. Oh, let go. Only tiny. Yeah, one grabbed it on the surface. It was only about that big. If I had my gear for bigger fish, I'd rig one of these up live. I also put a little bit of this scent on them as well, on the squid jig. It won't hurt. Well, we're on to another squid. A little bit better. No floated about, but I mean there are squid here, so it's all right. Oh well, the wind's picked up, so it's time to go back in the shallow, see if there's any mullet or garfish. Ended up with a few squid, but um, there was no floated, so you get what you get. And I'm happy that I got what I got. Yeah, well, there's not much going over there with the flathead. Uh, I caught some squid, but um, the flathead weren't on today. So I've just stopped off at a little island here and I'm gonna rig up for a garfish. I'll burly up with some bread and I've got a bit of prawns and, and some dough. And we'll see if they come around. You might get the odd mullet coming around. It's not, I don't really think there's mullet here. I did see him this morning but I think they were the bull mullet and they normally don't bite. So uh, if there's any lanos around here, I'll get them. All right, this is the float that I made in, my, in one of my videos. Uh, it's the quill float. And I'll show you how to rig that up. That's what we're gonna be using for garfish today. What I get is uh, a little lumo bead, anything rubbery that can fit in on the top of the float just to keep the line there right and then what I do is I wrap the line around the float stem just like that and then I'll pass it through that eye down the bottom and then you just have to tie your hook on that's pretty much all I do Seen a guy out there catching a few garfish. Yeah. 
And that's it. I've seen like the garfish are here because I've just dropped two. There's another one. Yeah, they're good garries. That's a good gari. All I do is just put a little bit of prawn on, and that's it. Yeah, because that quill floats so light, they grab the bait without even knowing there's a float on it. And I also like the fact that that quill float stands up on end. Like you can, it's like a little beacon standing up when they bite. Looks like there's big mullet there too. Come on, take it. This is just a garfish, but there was mullet there. It's a good one. It's a good mullet. I wish there was more of it. Look at the bloody size of this thing. You don't want to get your hands in there, do you? Tell me this is another long time. It looks like it. Oh no, maybe it's a mullet. Big mullet, isn't it? Yes. Looks like it's a mullet. Come up here, mullet. That's a big mullet. Get a load of that. Massive mullet. Oh, Bit of guts on the lens there. Well, look at that. It's huge. Good sized mullet. Well, I had enough. I, um, I ended up with a lot of fish. 
I've got enough fish for a feed anyway. Um, ended up with uh, about six or seven squid and quite a few garfish. Two mullet and a long tom. One of those mullet would be big mullet. It's a shame I um, didn't catch any more of them. So guys, if you enjoy watching this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you to all my subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Till then.